The Labor Department reported yesterday that employers added 120,000 jobs last month, encouraging but still leaving a long way to go. Small businesses play the leading role in job creation, provided they can get the bank loans they need to expand. And that's tonight's Weekend Journal. A visit to a businesswoman who's been finding the credit window shut. I don't see a phone number on the, oh, there we go. Wisconsin native Lisa Whiting created a graphic arts business with her autistic daughter in mind. So I started this company so she'd have an opportunity to have a job and a way to financially support herself. Miranda, can you make sure Using that loans from the county for hiring special needs workers, Whiting grew imagination trends, making floor signs and logos for major sports teams and other clients. We print for stadiums, we print for home use. In 2009, the staff grew from 3 to 36. Big signs, big posters, big graphics. Whiting met expenses using credit cards and savings and soon had enough orders to grow into a multi-million dollar business. But then, a snag. Now we have additional orders and additional projects that are huge. Now we're putting our hands up in the air because the banks aren't able to lend us the money to buy this additional equipment. Whiting discovered that the banks weren't lending because her credit score had suddenly dropped. This despite an on-time payment history with several credit cards, which CBS News reviewed. Here's what happened with just one account. Whiting had been charging $15,000 a month on a Bank of America credit card with a $15,000 credit limit. During the financial crisis, without warning, that $15,000 limit dropped to $12,000, a red flag that caused her credit score to drop. That triggered Bank of America to lower her credit limit further to $8,000, again lowering her credit score to 544. I worked all my life to build a credit rating of 809. The fact that they messed with my credit score when I did nothing wrong, I'm absolutely enraged about that. When asked about Whiting's case, Bank of America told CBS News, we continually monitor accounts for risk and may adjust customers' lines up or down as appropriate based on their risk profile. They looked at uh, me as a potential risk. The computer kicked out a warning that wasn't even really there. In fact, 60% of entrepreneurs say their credit card terms have worsened. If I had better access to credit right now, I could buy additional equipment and by the end of 2012 be employing 50 people in a local community that definitely needs job creation. And it was that local community that finally came through. After a year of struggle with the big banks, a local bank offered the loans she needed. We can work around credit scores. We can work around other previous issues as long as there's a, 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 an action plan. How many would you say we've gotten done so far? It's people making decisions about my future, not a computer kicking out statistically if I'm a good risk. <laughs> And there's more good news. Shortly after CBS News contacted Bank of America, the bank called Whiting and not only restored her credit card lines, but also offered her $10,000 in additional credit. But the question is, why did the banks lower her credit lines to begin with? Here with some insight is 30-year banking insider Marilyn Landis, currently the CEO of Basic Business Concepts. Marilyn, good evening to you. Thanks for coming in. Good evening. Thank you. You're seeing this more and more. Why does this happen? Lenders have always looked at credit, trying to determine what the risks were so they could anticipate where they might have default. What changed is they turned it into a math formula, and they gave that math formula to computer. We benefited from this mass-produced credit because they were able to make these loans quickly without people. They were more cost-effective. Mm -hmm. What happened was when they went into the recession, the bankers were looking at the credit risk that they had on the credit reports, and they panicked. And what they wanted to do was cut back on their risk. So they did a profile. And they said, where are our defaults? I see. And if you fit the profile of the defaults we've had, then we're going to start reining in your credit line so we have less exposure. Is there anything that one can do to protect themselves from this happening? No, unfortunately, it's not. As long as we live in an era where we're having computer scoring and computer-based decisions, and some banks are making them up to million-dollar loans are being done on credit scoring. So if that's the case and that's what's happening, no. All we can do is look for lenders who don't lean on, like the story we just looked at, where they're going to be looking at the individual again, getting the people back involved, and studying the computers to be in a second position. Okay. Marilyn Landis, the CEO of Basic Business Concepts. Thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate okay. it. Thank you.